Good morning. Welcome to Vedil Vagaparai. In this video, we are going to see how to calculate yield of a chemical reaction. Uh, this question is taken from IIT JAM 2019 question paper. And uh, this question will be useful for people who are taking UG TRB examinations or CUTE examinations and how to solve or look at an organic chemistry or any uh, reaction and how to calculate the yield of a chemical reaction. So the question is 5.3 grams of benzaldehyde reacted with an excess of acetophenone to produce 5.2 gram of enone product as per the reaction shown below. The yield of the reaction is this. So uh, benzaldehyde is given, acetophenone is given and then the reaction leads to the formation of the product enone. So we are asked to find out what is the yield if we are using uh, 5.3 grams and if we have got 5.2 gram of the enone. So now let us look at the solution. So in this particular reaction we see that one mole of benzaldehyde has reacted with one mole of acetophenone to form one mole of the product. So in the sense um, the molecular weight of uh, benzaldehyde is equivalent to one mole. Likewise for molecular weight of any or compound is equivalent to one mole. So in this particular case, one mole of benzaldehyde reacted with one mole of acetophenone to form one mole of the product. So this is something which we must keep in mind. So now let us see the details. So what is given here, uh, acetophenone is given in excess, benzaldehyde is given as 5.3 grams and the product obtained is 5.2 grams. And when we are talking about stoichiometry, any reagent that is given in excess is called as an excess reagent. And the amount of that reagent does not contribute, is not helpful for us to identify the yield of the chemical reaction. So here what we have to look at is, uh, is the reagent that is uh, the limiting reagent in the sense the reagent that defines uh, the product formation. So in, uh, in this case, uh, when something is taken in excess, say, say here it is only one plus one mole of benzaldehyde plus one mole of acetophenone. So if I am taking two moles of acetophenone, the extra mole is actually uh, is not contributing to the formation of the product. It will be an unreacted product. So that is the reason why the, the compound where the lower quantity is taken is considered to be the uh, limiting reagent. Here in this case, benzaldehyde is the limiting reagent and we are given the uh, amount of product obtained. So first and foremost, we have to quantify and find out uh, whether is this product that is obtained is the expected product in the sense if uh, 106 grams of benzaldehyde is reacting with acetophenone, then we are supposed to get 208 grams of the product. So let us see that calculation. See here, one mole of benzaldehyde must form one mole of enone in the sense 106 gram of benzaldehyde should form 208 grams of enone. So suppose we have, we in this particular case we have taken 5.3 grams. So if it is 5.3 grams then how much? So it is nothing but 208 divided by 106 into 5.3. So that is the expected yield. So 10.6 grams is the expected yield but what we have got we have got only 5.2 grams. So if the reaction had gone to 100% completion, if all the benzaldehyde has reacted with acetophenone to form one mole of or to form the product, then we must have got 10.6 grams of enone. But what has been predicted here is only 5.2 grams. So then what is the yield? So percentage yield is nothing but the weight of the product obtained divided by the expected or the theoretical yield. So here theoretical uh, yield, yes it is yield, okay. So here in this case the weight of the product is 5.2 gram and the theoretical yield or the expected yield is only 10.6. So overall what we see is the percentage yield of this product is 50 percent. So this is how we calculate the percentage yield of any chemical reaction. We can also convert this quantity into moles. So if 106 
six is equal to one mole. So five point three grams is equal to how many moles? And using those mole calculations also, we can calculate the yield. So this is also a simpler way. Instead of doing double conversions, we can directly equate the weights and get the percentage yield. Thank you. Like and subscribe.